Hello, this is the Hello Nigeria show. Hello Nigeria show. Don't you dare touch the dial. Hello Nigeria. Hello Nigeria show. Don't you the touch the dial. Don't you the touch the dial. Cause it's Hello Nigeria. Hello Nigeria. Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Thank you for staying with us. We are still in the spirit of the Real Time Film Festival. And as I said before the break, we have some contestants in the studio with us. To my immediate left, we have Sean Fale, followed by Buki Thomas, and we also have Kemishona Babalola in the studio with us today. How are you three doing? We're well, fine. Yeah, we're good. Thank you. Great. Good Thank you so us. much for joining us. So Thank let's you. get straight into it. What are you expecting from the Real Time Film Festival this year? Sean, we'll start with you. Um, it's been a great experience. I was a part of a real time film festival last year, yeah. and I had absolute fun. Yeah. I networked well. I met a lot of people. So I hope to also, I mean, have fun too. And you're heading year. Team Crystal, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So tell us a bit more about Team Crystal. Okay. Um, Team Crystal is one of the contestants for the real time film festival film challenge. That's the Altier Film Challenge, and um, yeah, for my team, we are like um, a team of about nineteen including actors, um, we, we've actually taken our time, right, to come up with, we, the basic hook for me is the fact that we have to do everything we have to do in just 20 hours, mm -hmm. right? Like I like to tell people, filmmaking is not just about um, artistic ingenuity. Mm -hmm. It's also about how you control resource and how you manage time, yeah. time management. All of these things goes into what a good filmmaker And you got be. 20 hours to come up with a dope film and hope that you win. Now, the theme for this year is Stories That Touch. Bookie, what does that theme mean to you? Well, we are going to be doing about, um, we, we are dealing on religion tolerance. Mm. So the theme is really something good to touch on that topic. Mm. And that's where we're going for it. Okay, great, great. And can we, uh, oh, wow, wow, wow. I was about to mix your names. <laughs> your, your surname and your first name. Okay, Kamishana, let's come back to you. So what are you expecting from the Real Time Film Festival this year? It's going to be fun. This is, my first, this is the first time I'm participating. Okay. Thanks to my, my, my bullion van. And um, the basic thing is that uh, I, I know that the team is strong. And the basis for Gadri, which is the script, is, is wonderful too. So... There is no doubt in my mind that with the kind of people I've seen around and those that I know are still coming on board for this. Okay. It's going to be awesome. Okay, and what does filmmaking mean to you? <sighs> As a filmmaker, for me, it's communication. When I don't communicate, I don't leave. I leave communicating. So as a filmmaker, life is communication to me. And when you don't communicate, you're not worried to leave. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. And what does the, uh, filmmaking mean to you as well? Um, as a social, I consider myself mm. a social agent. Um, filmmaking for me is, um, is like a calling, mm. right? I see myself um, as um, an instrument through which social messages are supposed to be mm. preached, through which we, we give the society a meaning. Let me take, for instance, going back to my team. My team, we're working, we're working on the, I mean, religious tolerance team, right? And um, the story we're working on, it's something that touches the nerve of our society. Mm. We're dealing with religious tolerance. As you would, you would accept with me that um, here in Nigeria, we have all been subconsciously made to, we are divided along ethnic diversity, Religion, religious ethnicity, diversity, and all of lot. that, you understand? So through the, the uh, short film, we intend to preach unity. We intend, the fact that you're a Christian and I'm a Muslim, the yeah. fact that you are from the south and I'm from the north, mm -hmm. We should see ourselves as one. Absolutely. Absolutely. So basically, that's what filmmaking is to me. Social. Yeah. I'm a social agent as a filmmaker. I like that. I like that. Now, Bukhi, okay, I'm going to come to you because yeah. we just had Ronia in here, the producer of the Real Time Film Festival, and we were speaking about 
the creative arts and how a lot of governments in progressive countries really push and invest in the arts because at the end of the day, the arts have a direct impact on the economy. Absolutely. Unfortunately, in Nigeria, the arts are not as supported as they could be supported. What struggles do you think you've come across in the film industry that make you really aggrieved and make you think, wow, if only we had the resources, we could produce magic out here in Nigeria? A lot, a lot as in power, as in location, mm. as in even productivity. Because a lot of people want to invest here, but they're not, the shortcoming of how the money is going to come out, that's an issue. Mm. Then the area of locations, we don't have good locations. I mean, if I want to shoot, I have to come here to the studio and pay for it, and there must be a time slot. Yeah. And the time slot for you may not go with the time slot for the cast. Then also for the power, it's not all the time we'll have the power supply. So a lot of things are into the place that we need the government to really put their mm -hmm. um, foot down to give it to us. In the time of Jonathan, he helps a little by helping the film industry, but in this, there was nothing done. Mm. Food for thought. Now, Commissioner, I'm going to come back to you now. There is so much going on in the Nigerian film industry. What characters or what factors would you say constitute to make a great film? Um, for me, like I said, I'm, I'm more of a communicator. If, if, your, if your story is not hitting it, there's no reason to shoot at all. But what factors does a person have to consider? Let's say I know nothing about film and I want to come and produce a film and create this amazing film. What do I need to know starting Education off? first. Education first. Mm -hmm. If you don't know about it, anything, don't delve into it. Ask questions. Go to those who understand it. Because if, if, if you have money, it goes beyond just having money. You must understand how to channel your investment. Even though it's going to be a waste eventually. Would you say that the foundation is a solid script? Very, yes. very, very. So absolutely. what does it take to produce a solid script for a film? Uh, it depends. It depends. The, but the basic thing, like, like I said earlier, go to the right people. There are several writers all around. Talk to any, any good writer, get a good story. If it's, if it's good enough, you know yourself. So after the scripts, what comes next? Then we plan production properly. Mm -hmm. there, there are stages in production, pre-production, production, production and post. So if all this is, is, is a long chain. I mean, I'm not sure we have no time to, to delve into that. It's a long mm -hmm. chain. But immediately you have your, your script, it, it, it directs you on how much is going to it, the kind of planning you go. Mm. You, you, you take, for example, we, have, we are talking about short film here. Mm. It's not the same, it's, you don't allow the same time into producing a short film, the same way you allow it into, into producing a feature length. Okay, okay, fair enough. Now, Shayla, I'm going to come back to you. Aside okay. from the competition that everybody is going crazy mm. about for the Real Time Film Festival, what else would you say you're really looking forward to at this year's festival? Okay, um, let me, I would, I would want to focus more on the challenge, okay. right? Because, of course, the challenge is part of the festival. Yeah. And, um, of course, my team is going to be very active. Okay. I mean, Go for the for challenge. It. Okay. Now, for the challenge, um, we, for my team, we've actually taken our time, apart from having a very good script, which, of course, I'm really excited about the story we have and I'm waiting. I can't really wait for everybody to see it. We have taken our time to put so much details already into what we are going to do. I already had my director, we have, a, we have a film treatment, my director already gave me a treatment of what, how we would be shooting. We, we have very limited time, you understand? So we're not waiting to get on set to start taking decisions. We already have a blueprint of everything we're going on set to achieve. Right now, my storyboard artists are working already. So we are, we're already sketching what our characters are going to look like, scale to scale, frame to frame, scene by scene, we have everything already mapped out. So you're feeling confident? Absolutely. <laughs> Is everybody here feeling confident? It's a oh, challenge. Yay. It's a challenge. Oh, yeah. Here, so. Brilliant. Oh, yeah. That's brilliant. So tell me a bit more about yourselves individually. If people want to find out more information and get to know you as individuals, how can they contact you on social media? Okay. I'm Buki Thomas. I'm an actor. And if, it's, if you watch Wedding Party, you will see me there. If you ro mm -hmm. watch Rumor Has It, you will see me there and a lot more. So you can get me on Bookie Thomas at Instagram and also Bukola Thomas on Facebook. There we go. Gentlemen? Oh, my name is Commissioner Babalola and I'm Commissioner on all and you can Commissioner, not Commissioner. No, not Commissioner. There we go. <laughs> K-H-O-E-M-I-Z-O-N-A. Brilliant. Um, I'm a filmmaker, an actor too. Um, like I said, I'm a motivator communicator. You find me in Virtually every branch of filmmaking. Okay, and Sheo. Okay, Sheo Mano Fale. Um, I produce, I mm -hmm. act occasionally, I manage productions. Then I'm Sheo Mano Fale across all social media platforms. So Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Sheo Mano Fale. Okay, That's so it. there you have it. Before I do let these amazing individuals go, let's check out a bit of their work. And when we come back, we'll take today in history.
Now that was directed by Shimon Fale, seated right produced, next to me. Produced, produced, produced. there yeah, we produced. go, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So if you do want to see more work by amazing individuals, don't forget the Real Time Film Festival is taking place from the 24th to the 30th of this month. You can find out more information at www.realtimefilmfestival.com or you can contact us here at Wazobia Mac. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.